Hey guys, welcome back to the Kin Woven Home. I'm Shara, and today we're doing part two to the design questions answered bedroom edition. Hopefully the text just appeared right there. We're gonna mix it up a little bit because this is the last video we're doing in the series. So we decided, what the heck, let's make it an even tighter challenge and let's time each question. I only have 20 seconds to answer. I might struggle on some of them, but I think for the most part, I'm gonna try to be 20 seconds or under. And the official question of this video is, do you have a headboard in your bedroom? I hope the answer is yes, because as I said in the previous video, I think headboards are like 100% necessary, even if it's just a headboard and you have a dust ruffle on your bed and you use a bed frame and it's just like a much more casual setup, that's totally fine. But I think a headboard really frames the room. Even if it's a painted headboard, like you just paint the wall to look like headboard, that's super bohemian and super cool. But yeah, hopefully you have a headboard. And if you do, tell me, what does it look like? in the comments below. Make sure that you thumbs up this video, you hit subscribe, leave your comment, and we're gonna jump right in. 10, or not 10 seconds, oh my gosh, 20 seconds for each question. 20 seconds each question. You guys submitted all these questions. Part two, let's get started. Red leather, yellow, yellow leather. Ready. Uh, multifunctional, but aesthetically pleasing. Use things like bins, so use a bed that has great storage. Wanting to make sure that you, basically storage is like the biggest thing within a bedroom. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the timer. Five seconds, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much harder. Just get storage. Okay, so if you wanna keep it really neutral, then do all the big pieces neutral. Do your bed neutral, do your rug neutral, but then bring in areas like accessories, frames, artwork, plants, that brings in color. Pillows, pillows are a great way to use artwork and bringing those in and sprinkling in some color. <laughs> Next question. A very small bedroom, bigger, uh, you can use mirrors. That always makes the room look larger. Bringing in lots of light, opening up the windows, uh, bringing your window treatments all the way to the ceiling. That always makes your room look larger. And then I would stay away from patterns. Patterns tend to make things feel smaller, so use neutrals and bright light solids. Yeah, I don't know why you couldn't. Look at me. <laughs> that was a two second answer. Next. Okay, standard size nightstands. It depends on what size bed you have. If you have a twin bed, you wanna have nightstands that are between 18 and 22 inches wide. If you have a queen size bed, go from 22 to like 25 inches wide. And if you have a king size bed, you wanna go from anywhere from 25 inches to 35 inches, maybe even like a side, like a chest or something, like a, like a, like a, like a big table next to your bed. This one sounds like it might be a you problem. I love you, but I'm just trying to give you tough love here. The problem with clutter is the person that clutters it. It's not the dresser's fault. You could try to switch to something more like open shelves, but those will also get really cluttered if you're a clutter person. So I'd recommend that you really work on trying to be less cluttery and maybe once a week do like a sweep where you clean off all your surfaces. A really focus on the cozy and light and bright and Scandinavian design is all about kind of being a little bit more minimal but also bringing it being cozy and it's all about community so having great spaces for people to sit uh, blankets for them to cozy up a beautiful candle that smells lovely and uh, lots of organic plants and things to bring the outside in I'm good I'm good <sighs> without damaging it okay I don't quote me on this, but I think removable wallpaper on like a drywall situation, you can peel it right off. So I think if you put removable wallpaper on top of other wallpaper, I think it would peel off as long as the new wallpaper is removable. Maybe test it on a small area and see, or if you can't do that, maybe just try doing tall plants, if it's a very small bedroom, you may not be able to do additional seating, but a great way to maybe try is a small bench at the end of your bed. That'll kind of extend your mattress a little bit if you don't have a lot of room, or if you have like a dining chair size chair, you can put that in the corner with like a little basket next to it. Time to spare. I do not believe a small master bedroom needs a workspace, so if you don't need one, I don't think it need, it needs one. Yes, I think you can have curtains on one window, um, and then if across the room, let's say it's like an asymmetrical window, and it would be weird to put uh, curtains on that. I did this at the Union. I have one, there was one strange window behind the master bedroom bed, and I just put a roller shade on that, and then on the other wall, I have window treatments that are like full-on curtains 
just because it didn't make sense to put window treatments on like one little half corner of a wall. Stop talking. <laughs> hmm. It's hard to say without seeing a photo of this one, but in general, it's really good to keep it even. So as far as you can go on one side, do that on the other. Let's say you have a wall that has like one window and you can only go four inches till you hit the other wall and then you want to fake it and put some mirrors that make it look like you have like a wall full of windows. Then you can get a long rod that extends all the way over. But if you don't fake it, you just got to go equal side to equal side. Accent walls behind the bed. Let's see. Wallpaper, uh, a painted wall that never goes out of style, and vertical shiplap or some sort of picture frame molding. Okay, this one is going to be very brief. Are you ready? Two words. Frame TV. That's it. Frame TV. It looks like art. It's by Samsung. If it's on, it looks like a TV. If it's off, it looks like a piece of art. Win-win for everybody. Okay, if you have a multi-purpose room, like a guest room and an office, one of them is gonna have to be your primary thing. So if you have guests over all the time, make that the primary thing and then have a desk in the corner. If it's your office, I would prioritize having an office desk and then have a pull-out sofa or something that's secondary if you have a guest room and people aren't staying there all that often. I get the countdown behind the camera and it makes me frazzled and then I don't know what I say. I think I say the wrong things and then my time is up. You don't have to do curtains, but I believe that every room looks so much better with curtains. The exception would be a room with really tall ceilings, like 20 foot ceilings or above 12 feet and you have giant windows and you wanna really just like go for the lofty. First of all, it's just super expensive to do curtains that are like 15 foot curtains. So keep that in mind. But I think yes. This is where editing comes into place. I recommend also just trial and error. The more experience you have trying something, the more you're gonna learn. So when you decorate something, take a photo of it and then you can come back and look at it a couple days later. Or every time you walk past it, you're gonna kinda get to see, does it look too cluttered? Can I add more? But really it's just trial and error and experience and learning to train your eye as you go. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. That was fun. Woo! Oh, and I thought that was gonna move a lot more. Woo! Dang, this is a really slow chair. <laughs> Yay! Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully that was informative and fun, and I hopefully answered all of the questions that you possibly could wanna know between this episode and the other episode when it comes to bedroom decorating. Reminder that we still have our $25,000 giveaway going on. So if you are a Design Sessions member, you are entered to win already. And every month you're a part of the Design Sessions, you get an extra entry. And then if you want to be new to the Design Sessions, I will link it below. You can learn all about it. How to win $25,000 for a room giveaway. And you get an hour consultation with my mom and myself about any room of your choice. And if you don't follow on Instagram, you should because that's where I ask you all these questions where you get to enter them and we do all these fun videos on YouTube. Um, and I know the series is over, but we'll be doing something else really fun. So you want to stay tuned. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather. <laughs> it's really hard the third time. Try it. The third time, it'll get you. Try it, girls, just for my sake. Red leather, yellow. <laughs> First time, Angela, let's see. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, now it's your time. Just get your turn. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Storage. Okay. Now I can text Tyler back. <laughs>